Today, I am going to show you the working principle of electrochemical machining process. It is a non-conventional machining process and this is an extension of electroplating process with some modification but in reverse direction. Before discussing the working principle, let's see what equipments are used. This is what this. This is tool. This is DC power supply. The workpiece is connected with the positive terminal of DC power supply and the tool is connected with the negative terminal of DC power supply. This is feed unit. It gives the constant tool fit. The tool materials should have enough thermal and electrical conductivity, high chemical resistance to electrolyte and machinability. And some most commonly used tool materials are stainless steel, titanium, brass and copper, etc. This is tank and this is electrolyte. The most widely used electrolyte in this process is sodium nitrate solution. Although some other chemicals like sodium hydroxide, sodium sulfate, potassium nitrate, potassium chloride are also used. The electrolytes are sent through this pump to the filter. This is pump. This is filter. This is pressure gauge. Now how it works. This process is almost same as EDM process except that EDM use dielectric fluids and ECM use electrolyte. A very small gap of 0.5 mm is provided here between the tool and the workpiece. And the voltage applied between the tool and the workpiece is 3 to 30 volt. The electrolytes fill this gap between the tool and the workpiece and complete this circuit. And due to the applied voltage, the positively charged particle is attracted towards the negative and the negatively charged particle is attracted towards the positive. The workpiece, here positive charged particle and the tool, here negative charged particle. The positive charged particle towards negative and the negative charged particle towards positive. What's happen? As the electrolytes come from the top, the positive charged particle cannot reach to the tool and the electrolyte flows the positive ions. But the negative charged particle strikes the workpiece and dissipate the workpiece in the form of sludge and the electrolytes carry this sludge to out. Thus the true replica of tool shape is produced on the workpiece. So this was the working principle of electrochemical machining process. If you like this video, you can subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get more updates. Thank you for watching this video.